Good morning, every oh. <coughs> Good morning everyone and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm a little bit croaky this morning. Last night, Megan and I went to the girls' bathroom live and this morning I have a bit of a croaky voice. I don't think I even shouted, so I'm not sure what that's about. But I'm starting a new weekly vlog. This week is going to be just a bit of a fashion school vlog. Today I've got a shoot with... It's part... It's like a company that's part of LCF. The Fashion Innovation Technology Agency, something like that. And I'm shooting with them today. That's going to be so fun. So I'm hoping I can get lots of good content. It's actually my first official day back. So I am missing... Missing? I am missing a lecture and a seminar, which is like really not great and then tomorrow i've got the same again lecture seminar thursday same again and i've also got some fun plans this week so i will just take you along with me and yeah i just wanted to start this vlog and get this going i literally ended my last vlog this morning starting a new one i'm on it with the content this week guys well just this autumn winter like it literally in the next i want to say two three weeks i'm filming like five videos so yeah, I've got lots of good content coming your way, so stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the vlog. The wind and the rain has made my hair so frizzy, but I have just made it to floor 7. This is where the styling suites are, studios are, hair and makeup. to be like UL students so it's yeah wow, this looks so good. Yeah. 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 yeah nice yeah let's do a little light test see how it looks yeah I like that we should put a little wide there then Lovely. Yeah, I like it with your head slightly to the side. Lovely. That's nice. Lovely, these are great. And maybe you're kind of looking off a little bit as well. Strong, this is cool. Honestly, I kind of think we have this. Yeah. Okay, I am now in a restaurant. I have left LCF. I'll give you an update about the shoot um, in a bit. But I am with Chantal and we've got some pizza. She's gone for the salami, I've gone for pepperonis. It's actually really cute in here. We're just at Westfield and yeah, we're gonna eat. And catch up. Okay, I actually look quite cute. I'm not even in focus. We just ate and I'm just gonna fill you in about my shoot. Basically, it was with like the fashion designers at LCF and it was kind of in affiliation with Meta who own Facebook and they're releasing some tech which I can't show on camera because it's not been released yet. So I know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to be able to put in the vlog, but um, we are just now in the mall. I want a sweet treat, and earlier I very nearly got myself a new Stanley. I've got the one with the handle, which, like, you can take out and about, but I kind of want, like, a normal one for the house. But then I got put off it because I was like, I don't know, like, I kind of want to get it when I actually, like, move into my own place. And then I've got, like, a nice little cute Stanley to, like, drink oh, out of when I'm in the house. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? For sure. But, yeah, every time, like, because today, like, was fully pushed out of my comfort zone. And every time I do something like that, I like to reward myself. And obviously I was getting paid for it, but I don't see money as, like, a reward. Do you know what no, I mean? Like, I want to get myself something to, like, yeah, so... Yeah, and Chantal has a party this weekend, so I need to see if I can just pick up something like to wear. I have got an outfit option, but just to see if there's anything We're in else. Field, on your little brows, brows around. I love malls, so. I'm a mall girl. I feel like we. we yeah, we are definitely mall girls, and this is just giving like America. You know. And what I love about being in malls, guys, at night is it's dead. Like, look at this. I love shopping at night. You know, I'm such a big girl. <laughs> Ralph girl. Wait, Ralph Lauren is in that Vogue documentary part of it. I am loving. 
loving H&M at the moment. Um, Shay Mitchell was in a brown two-piece from H&M and I was obsessed. And then I went on to H&M and just looked at what they've got in general and they've done like a new autumn winter collection which is like giving high fashion vibes but then they also have their normal stuff. If anybody would like to come and find my sign bit of work here then you're more than welcome to. How cute is this? Like my dress sense these days have turned like so feminine. Obviously I'm not dressed feminine right now. But like it's gone so feminine, I love it. There's some really good white pieces in here. It's as if the store knows that you're exactly. I'm going to try on this. I absolutely love it. I've had my eye on it for so long now and I keep going back to look at it. But the thing is, I just don't know what I'm going to wear it with. Like, I need to start at least three outfits and I need to have a long, hard think, basically, about what I'm going to wear it with, but I am going to try it on. Here's the jacket. I can wear it... Whoops, my phone just dropped. I can wear it done up. I can wear it just as hot button. I'm not sure. I've got the wrong outfit on and these jeans are too big for me now, so they don't look great, but... See, we are loving these silhouettes on Chantal. She just tried on another one and it's so good. And I was just explaining like the colour theory to her in outfits and like, yeah. Like that looks so much better than black. You are right, black, just wash it. I love black, I'm, I'm still going to black there, but. How nice are the, um. Like when you pop it in the back. Yeah, and I like that it's literally a mirror. Like guys, look. Guys, I'm going to get this because I like it and there we go and I also think it's like really good value good secured morning guys just a quick introduction for me this morning I have left Chantal's now I'm actually walking through Stratford Westfield but I'm heading into LTF now I've got a lecture and a seminar today I don't even know what like module we're going to be doing but I missed yesterday so I need to catch up on that as well I'm not sure how much content I'm going to be able to get because it literally is just us sat taking notes but as always I'll try and get as much as possible. I am in such a rush and such a time crunch I don't want to be late I'm so tired I've been carrying around my life in this suitcase for the past Sunday Monday Tuesday three days now and I just want to go home and get in the bath right I'm actually leaving now we just had like two lectures in one and I am um, I'm going to head to Sephora quickly and then go home. Right, I'm coming here to find the Summer Fridays lip tint and I do not think they're going to have my shade in stock but fingers crossed. This is definitely something I want to try. And now it's Drunk Elephant. Oh, they've got some lip stuff. Guys, this here is amazing. This is all they have. Hey guys, it's the next day now and I am ready for the day. I'm ready to do some filming. I've set you up in my normal background because I'm going to be filming a what's in my bag and I just feel like the start, I just feel like this whole vlog so far has probably just been super short, super all over the place. I've not really been able to film what I'm doing. So yeah, I feel like I've just barely got any content, but today I have got styling work to do. I've got a meeting with my assistant. I've got loads of fashion work to do. I need to schedule in all of my sort of like project tasks because we now have two projects at once. And I, I think one of them is like more creative but then the other one is like still a lot of writing and researching and it's all just so long like we've literally got two whole projects at the same time and I just cannot get my head around it like I just I don't even think that's normal so yeah um I need to make two schedules for myself and I, I already have like I run myself like a business I have I'll literally count how many schedules I have also, I've got some exciting parcels coming today. Okay, so I'm running off of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 schedules. 
and I'm now going to make that 15 because I'm now going to have two projects at once. As long as I keep myself well and rested, I'll be fine, but already I'm just feeling it, like I'm already so tired, but last night was my first night back in my own bed, and I'm such a homebody, I'm a creature of habit, I like my own space, and I've just been around people 24-7 and I've not been in my own bed, and last night, like, I actually came back, I only had 10 minutes to have a bath, and that's been it, like, my life has been on, like, just go mode, and I've not had time to just relax it's just onto the next onto the next onto the next so yeah i was able to have a bath but only for about 10 15 minutes and then me and Amon got indian food and that was so good i was craving it so bad and then he was watching we were watching the football downstairs and i was like look i've just got to go up to bed like and i never do that so i just came upstairs and i fell asleep watching gossip girl my brain is just so full of things that i've got to do and like, i have them all written down but for some reason i'm still just super overwhelmed okay vlog edited i feel like i look a little bit shiny now um wait did i just say vlog edited guys i'm going insane i'm i'm literally not even a week done of my course like i'm not even a full week back i've just had a crazy weekend and it's really throwing me off oh so here's here's my bag you'll probably see this before the video comes out but you probably would have seen it Thursday anyway, so it's fine. Um, yeah, here's my bag, but you'll have to stay tuned to see what's in it. Or you can go to the Fresh Style TikTok, and I'm going to do some TikToks now. Actually, I'm going to show you my phone tripod. Now, this I don't get out often, because I don't really film TikTok videos that often. And if I do... <gasps> guys, Sophia and Chintzia, who I went to see at the girls' bathroom live show... I filmed a TikTok and Chintzia reposted it and I literally, and she liked my video, I was like, oh my god, she's seen me, she knows who I am. And it literally just says, just two besties on our way to listen to our fave besties yap all evening. And it had the Royal Albert Holland background, the route that we took to like walk there was so nice and i was like oh my god this is a perfect road um the tour bus is in the background but you can't see it because there was one in front and yeah i just couldn't believe it right what am i doing i'm gonna show you my phone tripod i love it it's literally pink also i don't know whether to take my makeup off after i've done all my content and i think i am it seemed it it seems such a shame to waste all my lovely makeup but I just I don't want makeup on I've literally had makeup on for the past three days and I don't want it on and I, I really want to try out my new lip balm and I don't want to put it on with my makeup I want to I want to see how it looks when I've got no makeup on because that was kind of the whole point so yeah this is my phone tripod so it looks like this and it's very compact so you absolutely can take it in your bag with you i bought this from tiktok shop and it was probably like two pound or something and it's so good and it's super steady and then look how tall this goes that for a phone tripod is so good and i've never ever ever needed it that high so yeah i mean if you want to ever shoot your own content i'm sure you could probably use one of these and it did actually have it's got because when I took this out of my bag, oh yeah, here, there's a button, and when I took it out of my bag yesterday, it was flashing, and you can connect it to Bluetooth, you slide it out, and then when you're taking your pictures, you can just, like, click it and, like, not have it in the picture, like, try and hide it, if you wanted to shoot your own content, but, yeah, I just use this when I'm filming my TikTok vids, because I was balancing my phone on all sorts, and... Yeah, for times like now, it's perfect, so... Ow! I do not like this background. The lighting in this camera looks amazing, but the lighting on my phone is not looking good. I might move <laughs> my ring light. This is the light that I use. Well, you can't even see it. For my TikToks, for my YouTube videos, it's so bright. I have a ring light as well. And then the phone stand that's like inside the ring, I stand this in and... It's just so good and I take it out with me it has a little clip so I can clip it onto my phone onto my camera um when I'm like 
you know, like out and about and I don't have my full on tripod and stuff. So yeah, I love it. Also guys, yesterday I had the best donut. It was called a yum nut from m and And I've had their billionaires one before, but I got the one with sprinkles. I just, if anything, if it's got sprinkles, I'm having it. And look how good it was. That's a donut. Also with this light, you can attach, I'll show it this way. You can attach the clip so it's landscape or you can attach it um, here so you have it portrait and most of the time I'll do landscape and then it's got a hole on one of the sides so that you can slide it over your camera so <gasps> oh my god that's the front door I'll be back I'm so confused because first of all there was already a box outside and he was like, oh, I don't know where that one came from. This must be my iPad case. Surely not. I'm not sure what that is. I'm hoping it is my iPad case. And then this, it has the electronic symbol on it. Oh, I'll cover my... You know, like that symbol there, so you know it's electronics. But it's so light, there is not an iPad in here. So, I'm going to leave it there film this content because the work is more important and then I'll have a look and I'm so excited I mean I don't know what I was just saying was I even were we in a conversation I don't know a conversation it's only me here but you guys are listening it is now time for me to open up my iPad I think the other package was actually for my mum because my case it says it's not coming between like two and five or something oh my god oh my god oh my god so it is all in here oh it is so light it is literally so light i did not realize oh i've got oh i don't really like that one i saw they had like a purple one but anyway, this is my Apple Pencil. Um, oh my god. I feel like you... Should I have you guys lower down? Let me make you a bit lower. What I'll do is I'll unbox it now. But then I'm going to get on with my work. And then I'll set it up later. And we can set it up together. And I want to make it look pretty. And I'm pretty sure I know kind of what I want on here. So... It shouldn't take me too long. I could do with watching a few more videos and then I am going to film a what's on my iPad but I want to just get used to my iPad first because like I've literally never had one so and I've got it so that it's cellular so it's got like its own data plan as well which means I don't necessarily need my phone. Oh my God. I cannot believe how light it is. So I got the silver. I'm a gold girl, but I didn't like the... I think it's called space grey or space black or something. It was just way too dark. Oh. My god. I wonder if it's charged. Okay, what else is in the box? This is so fun. Feels like Christmas. So we've got... A charger and it's a USB-C charger now um, I think I have got enough plugs I might need to order some more plugs because if I need to charge my so I've got a personal and a business phone now iPad Mac AirPods camera light camera batteries I'm gonna need like eight plugs and eight leads I think um, but this this thing I ordered today should help. It says iPad Pro. Okay, so it's teaching me just like how to use it, how to connect the pencil. Now I'm gonna unbox the Apple Pencil. Oh, it just pulls straight out. Okay. Designed by Apple in California. So this Apple Pencil, this is so he this is heavier than the iPad. No, it's not. That was a bit dramatic, but it feels quite heavy. So this Apple Pencil, I believe, 
it's a new one and when you connect it you can squeeze it and it feels like you're actually squeezing the pen and I think it allows you to do more with the drawing so that will really help. This is giving DS and stylus. I went from having a DS and a stylus to an iPad and a pencil. And this iPad has the new M4 chip. I don't really know what that means, but it's the first Apple product to have an M4 chip. Okay. Oh, the speakers at the top and the bottom. <gasps> the sound is gonna be so good. There's so many speakers. So every Saturday is when I work on my brand Aura and it will now turn into a bit of a design day because for the past three years, other than my first initial proposal, I've just been researching and now I'm at uni so I'm studying for it too. And research is an ongoing thing, so a lot of the time I am, you know, reading up on articles, watching documentaries, um, just, you know, looking at all sorts. Sorry, is there a moth in here? Oh god. It's the season where all the creepy crawlers is coming and I hate it. But now it's time for me to actually get sketching, hence why I got the iPad. But it says, hello. This is my idea of fun. I cannot wait to be scrolling Pinterest on the big screen. My life is just gonna change now. I am just well, about to take my makeup off and then I'm going to make some food because I'm hungry. A lot of the time, because I really enjoy breakfast foods, just not at breakfast time, so a lot of the time I'll have like cereal or, I don't know, just like more breakfasty items at like 2-3pm. I use the Vaseline cocoa butter. No, I don't. Guys, I'm going insane. I'm actually not okay. I need sleep. I've just got so much going on, like in such a good way, like I'm really happy. Like, I was speaking to my friends the other day and they were like, you seem so stressed. And like, I was like, look, I'm so happy with everything in my life. I'm just busy. I'm just got a lot going on. And something about me is a lot of the time I'll have like really chill days doing nothing, but my brain will be very, very busy. And that also gets me very tired. And I think I've had a combination of both brain busy and body busy. So that's why I'm just shutting down right now. This is just a micellar cleansing water. And then I will go and cleanse my skin using, I'm using CeraVe at the moment. One that I really like is the Kylie Sing Makeup Melting Cleanser. So I would use that instead of this micellar water. Um, what other cleansers do I enjoy? Oh, the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, obviously. I used to use the Liz O um, Cleansing Polish. That's because Zoella used to use it. So anything Zoella did, I did. I used that for quite a few years, but now I just, I don't know, I just used this CeraVe one. Is it CeraVe? Yeah, CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Now I'm gonna go and cleanse my actual skin. Now my makeup's off. Also, look how good this is for vitamins. So this is what I keep my vitamins in. And it literally just opens like that and it's airtight, so. Yeah, it's perfect. And like, you can go like that. Like, you can shake it as much as you want and it's all gonna still stay in the same compact. So like, I don't want it to come out, but you can see some there. Face is cleansed. At the moment, I use this on my face. I literally just use one cleanser, one moisturizer and that's it. I could do with getting a hyaluronic acid because I do need a hydrator for my skin. I've actually, ordered the Sephora Advent and I had it last year and I loved it so much so I've got it again this year so I'll definitely do like I'm gonna do an unboxing so like every week what I got on my Advent so there'll be four videos instead of doing a one a day I think that's a bit boring 20% off until 2pm Sephora <gasps> they have a summer Fridays on here lip one I want to get I'm gonna try the pink one now but I do also Vanilla beige is in stock. Brown. Oh my god. Vanilla beige is in stock. Iced coffee and vanilla. Oh my god. Shall I do it? Also, the, the first thing I saw on my phone this morning, like when I went onto Instagram, was that I think Copperini did a fashion show under the Disneyland castle and Kylie Jenner was walking. I couldn't believe it. Like, I love that. I cannot believe they did that. Also, I've seen on TikTok a girl 
put a hole through her lip balm. No, it must have just been this top part here. And then she put a chain on it and it was so cute. I'm going to find a TikTok. What was I finding? Oh. I'll show you guys in a second. Let me just double check if I want this. Um, lip balm shade. They've got one in called Hot Cocoa Limited Edition. I think that's too brown for me. I really, 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 really want to get some Rode products. I actually got Megan something from Rode. I got her a blush and a lip. Just a vanilla lip peptide one. It's not a tint. It's not a colour. See, what I love about vanilla beige is it's like a pinky brown and it looks so nice. Like... Right, I'm gonna get it quick. Because the pink one compared to that, which is what I just got, looks like this. And it is just more pinky, but I think I do want vanilla beige. I'm just gonna order this quickly. Oh, I can get a five pound discount of product. I love Sephora so much. And when I was younger, right, these are the products I can get for achieving a reward. Isn't that so good? There's Sol de Janeiro. There's normal Sephora on there. There's Too Faced on there. Oh my God, so now it's taken it down to £17. I can't believe I just managed to order that. What was I even doing on here? Oh, I was showing you the lip balm thing. I'm definitely going to do this because I'm just so like into personalisation these days. Like making everything custom and I never used to be. Also, look what Megan sent me on um, TikTok last night. I used to have... A rainbow and that just unlocked so many memories did i have the i might have had the strawberry as well this is going to be the tutorial on how to add cute little charms to your lip balm so this works perfectly with summer fridays and how cute the lip balms. look how cute this one is i added a little so cute cup. I'm gonna add it and then she just tells you how to do it if you want to go find that video type in makeup by brooke tiffany on tiktok or maybe just type in adding charms to lip balm and it will come up right i could i don't know i don't i'm not gonna put a gel in my eyebrows because they're kind of well stuck up anyway um i'm going to put some eyelash grow serum on this i did get in my sephora advent it's the vega more grow and oh my god it is so good and then i looked at how much it cost 68 pound that's like 68 pound for this like i, I couldn't believe it I don't think it's worth £68. If I'm spending... To be fair, this has lasted me like a year. So maybe it is worth it. Because that divided by 12 months is fine. But I looked at my lash line and I see a difference within days. And I also like stopped using it for ages and then i started using it again and i saw instant results and I, I just like to add a lot more to the outside of my lashes because i like a cat eye effect and now my stomach is rumbling so i need to go eat i love so much Okay, I'm very happy with that. I was scared it was going to be too pinky because I don't like the look of having a lip product on with no other makeup. Like, say, if you actually just put lip gloss on. I don't like that, but I did want a little tint. So that Summer Fridays is literally perfect. And I bet it will look good with makeup too, like, if I wanted to do, like, a natural makeup look. Guys, I've just been tidying my room and I completely forgot about this. I got this from Zara the other day. I can't believe it went out my mind. I love it so much. I'll try it on for you, actually. I ended up going for the size medium because the small looked weirdly proportioned. Like, it fit nicely, but the, the jacket itself didn't look right. I don't know if it was... I don't know. I think, like, the buttons... I think there wasn't enough space between like here and the bottom or something um but i'm re-watching gossip girl at the moment and this is just so blur and i can wear this with jeans i can wear this with flats and heels i can wear it with a skirt and boots i can wear it with shorts it's so so cute and 
I'm obsessed. I'm so happy I've got this. I've wanted it for so long. I ordered some pick -a mix from TikTok shop. So I'm going to sit here with my pick -a mix and figure out this iPad. I just want to talk about the content. So I really like the idea of doing beauty. I feel like introducing beauty, like you said, it goes hand in hand with fashion and anyone kind of interested in one is interested in the other. There's some content inspo, which I like. I sent it to the Freestyle TikTok, but I need to add it to the Notion page and it ties in. What we should do to gain more traction in the beginning is just make it a general like aesthetic girly account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, there's boo baskets and there's also pyjamas, so just like cute pyjamas that are in Sainsbury's at the moment. And let's do part, yeah, yeah. part one. Um, and you said that on Notion. Yeah, I agree. And like having one where it's like a picture of a celeb and then you slide over to their exact outfit and then you can also slide over to a budget one. Yeah, 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 because there's this account. Good morning, guys. It's actually the next day now, and I am so tired, like, my eyes are literally burning. Yesterday, I think the last thing I vlogged was my meeting, and then we were meant to go to the shop, but I literally had dinner, had a shower, did some editing, I went to sleep. I've got quite a long day at LCF. I'm there one till four, and I've got no idea what it is, because last year we only had lectures and seminars. Um, but it's something to do with like a technical workshop or something. I don't really know. Here's my outfit. It's something I put together in my head. I was, I kind of wanted to wear like my black jeans, but they're in the wash. So I put the blue on and I do actually quite like it. I never thought I would like brown and blue and black. I'm going to be taking it very slow today because like I said, I'm just super tired. And yesterday I started to feel ill, like when I'm getting burnt out. <coughs> I start feeling certain symptoms and I started to feel them and I was like, oh no, like, I literally can't get in, I'm just getting started. There's nothing about Nando's though yet, it just looks, it just looks so, look, look at this. I filmed nothing at um, LCF because we basically just did like a group task and I didn't really want to get anyone else on camera. And then me and Aran had a Nando's, I filmed that. We put up some signs for him and I just thought I'd get him on the vlog and he's got a very exciting parcel that I got for him. So, wait, do you want to speak to the vlog? So I just eat all the chocolate now? For the no, camera. it's not chocolate. Is it not chocolate? <laughs> no! What's this again? 25 days of iconic grooming look fantastic. So you know how I've got like beauty, skincare, makeup. What's the advent calendar? Yeah. It's an advent calendar. But, but it's like this is a... Oh, it's because it's um, wrapped like a present. But yeah. Basically you've got loads... It smells nice, doesn't it? Don't peek in... Don't peek in any of the drawers. Oh, but you've actually put presents in there? No, I haven't. So what, do I open it on like the 4th and the 22nd? So, there's 24 boxes. The brand is Look Fantastic. As always. Yeah, and on day one, there'll be a day one summer, so like when we open it up properly. We don't need to open it, but no, don't, don't rip it. So when do it's I, tied up. When do I start opening December 1st. So on day one, I'll open my one and you open your one. So it is an advent calendar? Yeah. yeah. But it's not a chocolate It's calendar. quite good though. But so it's not chocolate? No. Mm. But I'll get you a chocolate one. I'm joking, so thank you. Any, that's okay. Anyone that wants to get their boyfriend an advent calendar, the look, fantas them, man. the look fantastic one, I think, personally, was the best. Like, there was a lot of things that I wanted to get them on anyway and they had it in this calendar. 
And maybe um, every week I'll be like, here's what I got in mine and she's... What's in there? Like smelling, smelling stuff? Like I'm, I'm not going to tell you, but yeah. Okay. There'll be things for your face, things for your hair, things for your body. I, I, the only thing is I don't know where we're going to keep them. You can put it in my bit downstairs. I look nice by the desk on the Xbox Are you while sure? I'm beating everybody at FIFA. God, I think I want, um, yeah, who else has lost their boyfriends to FIFA? <laughs> um, I might want them together. The thing is, last year, do you know what I have? What's up, Barbie Pink? Hey guys, it's like Steven now. <laughs> My mum's getting a Barbie Pink donut. <laughs> um, if anyone hasn't tried the cinnamon swirl, you, ab just, just kind of you, abso zoom. you absolutely need to because they are so good. How many donuts do you want to say? I like five say, donuts. You rate um, that one, the cinnamon one, the Barbie one, and the first one. Four. Four. This is the oat milk we got. Do you remember the last time I vlogged us in a supermarket? Right, we're meant to be scanning this as we go, Amar. The last time we vlogged in a supermarket, guess where we were? Spain. Yeah. Espanol. Espanolita. Right, put it in the bag. We'll definitely get How nice are these? I was literally just looking at these on my Pinterest board. They were like homemade ones, but they've got them in Tesco for £10. So, you can eat almond, right? Uh, I don't know, are you sure? Well, you, you eat the almonds from... You get the almonds for us from pasta. Yeah. So you can eat almonds, no? Mm -hmm. Okay, so hold that. And then... Yeah, that one had coconut in it. Nutty, hazelnutty. Um... Honestly, I, I probably think you should just get the one from. Excuse me. So, have you not got any of uh, the back? Um. Yeah. I don't mind getting a job quickly and doing it myself. What going out the back? Can you tell the vlog what you just did. Don't do it. Just tell them. I can't tell them. I'm just show them. Why? Is I said, I said, come on, you look, you look at what's in that one and I'll look at what's in this one. So we're trying to find one with no nuts. And what does he do? Peels it open to actually look inside it. You need to explain yourself properly. It's called communication. No, it's called common sense. But on the Upper East Side, the holiday thankfully returns to its roots. Hey guys. I am watching Gossip Girl. I've just had some soup for dinner and... I am basically jumping on to kind of end the vlog, but I'm going to keep this going this evening and then end it tonight. I just want to stand you up. I might just put you on my Stanley quick. Today has consisted of me doing some designs on my iPad. I have done lots of editing. I finally got my girls bathroom video up. I was having some issues getting that up, but that's all done now and this vlog that you're watching is fully edited up until now as well which is so good i have had some more parcels come this i believe is my ipad case and this i believe is my lip balm so what should i open first i think i'll do the ipad case first and then also this evening last night i was craving flapjack so we're going to make some. I hope it's a nice pink. Okay. This is the case. So this is magnetic. And then it opens up. And that is where my iPad goes. Yeah, and then that's it. So this case actually pulls off. It's a really strong magnet. So this is the case where my iPad goes in. And I can like use it just by holding it like this on its own and that's how i like to actually use it i don't like you know all of this flapping around but then the magnet actually sticks on and you can have it like on this um and it's like super it won't come off and then i can also have it like this way 
I was looking high and low, high end and low end for this case. Wait, please tell me there's plastic on this because it's a little bit dirty. So yeah, I was looking everywhere. Apple, other retailers, um, Amazon. Okay, it's in. <gasps> oh, there's actually plastic on the back as well. I did think it looked a little bit murky. Wow, I am so happy with that. So, so happy. Wait, so I'm just thinking, because the Apple Pencil actually sticks onto the side. <gasps> oh, it can do it through the case. This is amazing. I actually ended up getting this from TikTok shop. And even like the videos of this on TikTok, there was probably only like two. And they never said where they were from. And in the comments, they didn't either. I, I literally had to dig for this case. Um, but if anyone wants it, message me and I'll like send you the link because actually I'll link it on my TikTok shop. I should be able to do that. But yeah, it fits the Apple Pencil inside and it's also protected like all around the edges. Not that I've ever really been bothered about like cases actually protecting things. I just think they look cute. And also it will like think that it's getting locked when you're shutting it. So the screen turns off and then opens back on again. And like I said, it's super, super strong. This is it when I want to have it this way around. So I'm gonna literally just stand up like that. And then all I have to do, I'll try and show you, is take it off the back, turn it round, and there we go. We've got it lengthwise. Perfect. I take my laptop literally everywhere and it does get quite heavy and sometimes I don't really need everything that a Mac can do. I just like to be able to do all my work and stuff from it. So this is perfect because it's so much lighter. I'm actually going to compare it in my bag. So this is what I'm used to. Obviously I know you can't feel the difference but I just have to take my word. This is, it's heavy but it's, it's just about manageable. So now I'm going to compare it to my iPad. And actually, I sometimes I will need to take both around with me, so... Okay, so it fits in actually so much better than my laptop. Even though, I swear these both say they're 13 inch, but someone here is lying because my iPad's smaller. Oh, that is so much better. It's so much better. And obviously it's smaller. And it's like a lot thinner and everything. Now I need to try both. So this will be on a day where I've got a lot to do, basically. It doesn't feel too much different to having my laptop. Because like I said, this iPad is so light. In the shop, it didn't really feel that light. But when I had it at home and like in the box and stuff, it did. So, yeah, I mean, that doesn't even take up much space at all. It's like having notebooks. Okay, perfect. Now for my Sephora delivery. I thought when it said Sephora, it was just my advent, but I forgot I ordered this. I'm gonna try this right now. It's the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Vanilla Beige. And this is like their most popular one, I think, and it's always sold out. So the fact I managed to get this the other day is amazing. Oh, oh my god. This smells amazing. Oh my god. I can't get over the hell. <laughs> this smells so good. There's a shade. Definitely more brown. It's low key stinging my lips. I think this will be a shade that I use when I need a touch up of like lip gloss because. Sometimes I'll touch up with gloss, but then as I go through the day, sometimes I need lip balm on, but obviously I've got makeup on, so I can't put lip balm on because it will look weird because I've literally tried it before. So this is perfect because it moisturises and gives you a colour and obviously a gloss as well. So it's literally the most perfect lip product 
to keep in your handbag, basically. Sorry, my cameraman's just moaning that he's having to hold the camera. And, sorry guys, I think he's filming the floor as well. Can you actually, like... Thank you. Where do we get oats? Oats. No, don't be so obvious Wait, where do we get oats? Oats? Yeah. Ah, we need, um... Sorry, I just want to phone right now. Nice Demerara or brown sugar for. Because I don't even see any brown sugar right now, do you? What was your favourite cake that you used to get when you were younger? The football you ever... one. What would you have? This one or would you? The one in there. Sixteen pound for that's a joke, isn't it? Yeah. If you had to. It have used to be right cheaper now, back in the day. It used to be like twelve pound. If you had one right now, what one would you want? Um. Oh, this one, yeah. That one? Yeah. Yeah, that one is nice. Ah, this one's quite nice as well. I was well, just going to say, that one custard. is... Oh! That one is nice. So, we are doing this all a little bit back and forth. We're going to have normal flapjack. Flappy. And then on some of them, I was going to put on top chocolate. Yeah. Would you like that? Yeah. Milk and white, or just white, or just milk? And I was... Bit gonna, of both. Yeah, okay, and I was gonna do white chocolate with sprinkles. Where the hell is it going to now? Here. Yeah, I didn't see it here. <laughs> okay, what sprinkles? So, I like this unicorn confetti. Should we go for that? Well, yep. I think sometimes me and Amara forget that um, other humans live in this world. Because the way that we shot, we just need a trolley everywhere. Mm. That camera's wonky and it's on the floor. Should I do porridge oats or um. Orange oats or. I said porridge oats or scotch People are going to think I'm shooting a documentary yeah. on the floor at this point. Here's how it's looking before. We put it in the oven and we're gonna do some white. <laughs> we're gonna do some white, some milk, and we're gonna have some sprinkles. It's out the oven. It is bubbling. That is amazing. Um oh, why have you done a big gap, Emma? <laughs> no, I'm gonna come into the middle. Then spread it out. And why have you left a big gap on the edge? What? On the edge? Did you not want to fill it in on the edge? I didn't even see that bit, my bad. <laughs> okay. Oh! Then it just make everything look so much better. Amazing. I don't think it's good stuff. Absolutely. Amazing. Right, no more. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, my! Hey, guys. I am literally just coming on here to end this vlog. This week has been absolutely crazy. I was meant to be vlogging this week and the universe just said, actually, no, we're just gonna turn your whole life upside down for a minute. And I'm gonna leave this vlog on a quote that's got me through this week. That being, what would Blair Waldorf do? If you are ever, ever, ever stuck in life, stuck in a situation where you're like, I don't know what to do, or, you know, you don't feel confident enough to do something, just think, what would Blair do and do it? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog, and the next video that will be up is going to be my what's in my bag, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching this video. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video.